What's up guys, bringing you a very quick video here. Uh, one of the most requested videos that I've, well, had requests for. And that is to show off kind of my inventory a little bit. And I'm not going to do weapons today. I will do weapons soon. Um, but just wanted to show you all of the gear that I have accumulated. Uh, you see gear slots 55 out of 55. I have zero duplicates in my inventory, um, so 55 pieces of unique gear. I've been playing since December of 2015, about December 15th we'll say. And uh, I'll show you the headgear then I'll give you some more backstory just so we can jump into some exciting stuff here. We got the Urban Bowman headset, 6 star headset. Minus 20% spread on shotgun. Very portable headset. A little bit of defense added in there. Six star mountain comm system, part of the PMC mountain setup. That's six stars. 25% faster access to scopes. A little bit of protection. Still pretty fast on the portability. Then we got the six star Foxtrot helmet. Part of the Foxtrot set, obviously. One of my go to pieces of gear for sure plus 13% protection against assault, right around 900 with the portability, but pretty good protection. Uh, this is going to be annoying if it scrolls to the top <laughs> each time I um, stop looking at it or whatever, go back. Um, then we got the new gear, Patriot gear at 5 stars, don't have any 6 star Patriot gear yet, but we got this guy, plus 15% accuracy with LMG and Patriot. And we got the Jungle Bowman headset, the five star version of the Light Urban, uh, whatever, Urban Bowman headset. Um, then we got the Cinco de Mayo Sombrero. Obviously that's part of the shotgun setup. Two and three piece set boosts, deal with shotgun. Um, it's not too bad overall, 920 portability, 1588 defense. It does hang in there based on those stats with the um, other, you know, high rated headgear, but it just looks comical and it's so easy to, to just spot somebody. I mean, obviously, but like you don't think that it'd be hard to see someone, but you realize when they're it's so easy to see with a sombrero on that it does make a difference. I don't know. Whatever. Um, you get what I'm trying to say. Then we got the five star special operator cap lower tier of the six star mountain comm system uh we got the patriot private helmet part of the new patriot gear basically a lower tier of the five star uh specialist helmet i just showed you and we got the hunter mask some more shotgun gear that's uh pretty new as well um and we got a mastodon helmet just the four star don't have the five star or the six star mastodon stuff but i do have the full four star set very slow headgear um well that's fine i guess we'll just leave that accidentally equip that then let's go to the bottom here we obviously got the no headgear option we got the elite ops helmet protection against grenades and we got the red wool cap um I guess I could do it like this, equip each one as I go up. I'll do that for vest and legs. Um, more accuracy while moving with SMG. Very portable. Very low defense, but still better than no defense, I guess. Uh, this guy's got some accuracy with handgun. Arid patrol cap. Very portable. Low defense, obviously that's three-star stuff. Um, a lot of people wear this with their unks and other SMGs, plus 10% accuracy while moving with SMG. Very good portability, and not great defense, but a little bit of defense thrown in there. Why not, right? And we got the Black, Op Black Ops helmet, uh, just a step up from that last grenade protection helmet we showed you. I believe it was a counter ops or whatever it was. Um, and that's actually it, I believe. We got the Bowman headset, four star version of the other headsets like that. Um, the operator comm system, I don't know if I showed this one yet, but just the four star version of 
the headgear with faster access to scopes on LMG and Assault. But that covers all of my headgear. Let's go back to, I think I had this guy on. Uh, let's jump into some vests here. We'll go to the bottom and equip each one as we go up. We got the Arid Patrol Jacket. Switch speed with SMG. We got the Delta Vest, protection against the LMG. Woodland Patrol Jacket. Plus 15% switch speed with SMG. Let's see what that looks like. Got the Forest Tactical Vest. Plus 20% reload speed on SMG. We got the Rider Jacket. Plus 15% switch speed with handgun. Got the Black Ops Vest. Protection against SMG. Got the Heavyweight Vest. That'll be reload speed on SMG. Or LMG, my bad. PMC Operator Vest. Protection against LMG and Assault. Got the green vest, protection against assault. Guess I could spin them around a bit more for you guys. Got the four star mastodon torso. Like I said, I do have the four star set. Obviously, very beefy. Uh, the four star patriot gear. This little jacket here. The flying banshee or whatever it says in the back. Um. That's got reload speed on LMG and Patriot. Then we got the Hunter Jacket. Shotgun gear again. The Urban Heavyweight Vest. Just a step up from that other Heavyweight Vest. We got the Cinco de Mayo Poncho. 800 portability, a little slow, but decent defense and some good boosts with shotgun. Got the assault vest, 20% protection against, against LMG, basically just a step up from the Delta gear. We got the light jungle vest, a lower version of the light urban vest. And oh, I guess I do have the wasted mastodon torso. Um, but yeah, obviously just a, a little step up from the 4-star Mastodon Torso. And the Patriot Specialist Armor at 5 stars. Very slow, 775, but very good protection. And obviously you got your 2-piece and 3-piece set boosts. Then the Notorious, probably most commonly used vest. Fastest vest in the game. The Light Urban Vest, actually one of the first pieces of gear I pulled. Um, I think I was like level 19 when I got that, way back in the day. Um, Foxtrot Vest, just got this like, probably like two months ago now, but still seems very recently. Um, very slow at 757, but it does have, I think, the highest overall protection. And the PMC Mountain Vest, probably my favorite of all time. It's got the most LMG and Assault protection and a little low on the portability, but not bad at 820. Um, definitely my favorite vest of all time. We were rocking this for the speed, so I'll put that back on. And before I jump into the legs, I'll just give you the backstory on my gear, which I was going to go into before, but... Uh, just jumped into the headgear. Um, basically, you know, when I started, um, I messed around with a couple weapons to start the game off, and then I pulled a 5-star A500, obviously regular edition, out of a crate, and that became my weapon, my only go-to weapon. That's the only weapon I played with. Um, Obviously, A500 was is very good, and back when I started, there were way less guns in the game than there are now. Um, really, the Autumn A500 was the only, like, wow, this is crazy OP. <laughs> and now there's at least, you know, five weapons that are just, like, you hate to run into in ranked play and whatever, right? Um, 
So completely different story. A500 was very good back then. Um, still is, but was more significant back then, if that makes sense. Um, and so once I had that weapon, I realized how long it would take to max it out. And back then, I just back then I logged in every day and did my daily challenges, and that was really it. I didn't like farm. I didn't, you know, I wasn't part of any Discord groups. I didn't know anybody in the game. I didn't even go on the forums um, for you know a couple months after I started playing. I finally took a look at the forums, and that's how I started to get to know people in the game and things like that but um so once i had that a500 five star i pretty much only opened gear crates um i usually got one every two or three days um obviously you get 20 gold each day with logging in and uh so that's 60 in three days plus the random plus fives that you get from here and there um here and there from playing um and so I pretty much just opened gear crates for a while and I got my Fox Tri helmet and um, you know I got PMC Mountain Pants and the Light Urban Vest very soon by like level 19. Um, then I got my Fox Tri helmet next. I don't remember the level, but um, definitely had some luck with, with the gear early on. But when I was opening gear to start with, I used to sell each piece of gear after I got a piece of gear that I thought was better. Um, so I really only had like one loadout of gear, if that makes sense. Um, but recently I just started keeping every piece of gear I have unless it's a duplicate. I obviously sell duplicates, I don't have any duplicates in my inventory like I said. Um, but you know, just saying I probably would have been close to, to having all the gear except the rare stuff like the Urban Mastodon setup or the Wasted Mastodon setup obviously but um, things like that. I'm obviously still missing the light urban pants which you'll see coming up um, but I'd probably I'd probably be pretty close to having every piece of at least four star and above gear. I don't buy any uh, one to three star gear I never have that's a complete waste of money unless you just want to do it for fun um, to get a cool looking setup to mess around with or something but um, that's just the backstory on the gear that I have um, and why I have 55 pieces why I don't have duplicates and whatever um, but we'll just show you the pants and call it a video can't believe we're already at 13 minutes man this you think it'll be the quickest video ever, just showing your inventory of, of gear, and it turns out to be a 15 minute video still. So, uh, <laughs> we'll try to zip through these pants here. We got the civilian grade jeans, looks like my only three star piece of gear. Got a little bit of portability with handgun. Got the last piece of the four star Mastodon set. A uh, little portability boost with launcher. Got the civilian black jeans, perhaps the best four star piece of gear that there is. You can zip around the map with your KG-18 while rocking these, I'm sure you know that by now. Um, we got our green pants plus portability with the salt. Um, you know, I've rocked these occasionally but it's generally not worth it. We got our light combat pants, basically the four star version of the light urban pants. And Delta Pants ignores the stopping power coming from weapons and stun gadgets, basically the four star version of the Fox Trot Pants. Um, forgot to equip these guys to show you. Uh, I rocked these for a long time, the Delta Pants. Um, then we got the Woodland Patrol Pants, plus 5% portability with LMG. Kind of disappointing, I, I always wish that these were plus 5% portability with uh, whatever you call it, SMG, but anyway. Minus 10% cooldown for grenades on the Black Ops pants. Very basic black pants, kind of like those actually, but not very useful in the stats and boost category. PMC Operator Pants, lower version of the PMC Mountain Pants, plus 5% portability with LMG. Got the Hunter Pants, the shotgun gear that was recently introduced. 
Patriot Private Pants. Just released recently for July 4th, 4th of July. Plus 5% portability with LMG and Patriot. Then you got the two piece and three piece set bonuses. When you do wear the full set, I'll have a full set review coming up. Um, but uh, the full set is just way too slow. Then we got the assault pants. I was so happy when I pulled these because I, like I said, I always rocked the delta pants and then I moved up to these. You see portability goes up by three points, which is kind of a joke, but it's basically the same pant with a little more protection. Um, and you'll see the foxtrot pants coming up, same story, but we got the Cinco de Mayo pantalones. <laughs> Pretty uh, interesting setup, but uh, you got the two-piece, three-piece set bonuses, mainly shotgun gear, obviously. Got the light jungle pants, just a step down from the light urban pants. Shotgun boost, 20% switch speed bonus. Got the Patriot Specialist gear, uh, the pants here, obviously. I love the way these pants look. You know, I've, you've heard me say it, but call me a sucker for camos. I just love the digital camo, really any good camo. And then we just got two more PMC Mountain Pants, which I've had since day one. Pretty crazy to think about. Um, it says plus 10 portability. I believe that's a bug. It should be plus 10% portability with LMG. Um, not a bad looking pair of pants. Obviously looks a little baggy and they, they look a little baggy when your guy wears them too. Um, but definitely a great set of pants. Great portability especially that boost with LMGs. And then my go-to favorite of all time, you see the Assault Pants. I don't know why I'm questioning that name. I'm pretty sure they're Assault Pants, yeah. Assault Pants at five star were 853 portability, and these have 854 portability. So portability goes up by one, but the protection goes up a little bit, and it's the same boost. And obviously you got this like, uh, I don't know what, what pattern this camo would be called. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you know that, but, um, I like the look of these the best. Um, the assault pants looked good, the black, and actually the delta pants looked good too now that I think about it, but anyway, obviously these are the best for the ignores the stopping power coming from weapons and stun gadgets, so I usually fit those into almost every setup I rock. And that'll do it, showing you all the gear that I've accumulated since December of 2015. Somehow this turned into a 20 minute video. I don't understand how this happens, guys. I thought this would be a 5 minute video and I could upload it real quick, but looks like it's going to take another day to upload this guy. So <laughs> trying to catch up on some videos, get these out there for you guys. This was highly requested and I'll be showing you my weapon inventory very soon working on some Patriot weapons and still building up some Atom weapons and then I'll probably get into that. Um, I know those are highly requested. I mean, not the most exciting, but I think it's cool just to see some stuff in the game, especially if you don't have some of this stuff. And I don't know, especially for newer players, it's cool to see, but that'll do it for this video. Thanks for stopping by. As always, be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and be sure to come back for the next video, which I will be posting very soon. You know that if you're subscribed and thanks, I'll catch you on the next video.